Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on the front of the movie theater. I'm going to be doing a textured wall effect. Okay, and there's two ways you can do it. You can either use the toilet paper, which would give you this look here on the right. Or you can use a paper towel, which would give you this look. All right. And if you want to do the toilet paper sand mixture, you have two types here. This will give you more of a stucco. And then this one will give you more of a real textured for like an exterior of maybe a broken down build. So there's a couple options there. All right. So the first thing I did is I mixed some glue and some water. And I just used some regular old school glue. You can use some Mod Podge if you like. But um, it's not necessary. You can just use cheap stuff. It works just as good. And then you want to have it kind of runny like that. Okay, after that, I need to turn this over though because I need it on the right side. You want to go ahead and paint it on here. Then I'm going to take the toilet paper. And then I'm going to press it down in there. Okay, after that, I want to just kind of blot it with the glue. Don't worry about if it starts coming back off because it'll just add more texture. However, if you kind of blot it and then do a rolling effect, it will actually work out a little bit better with stay in. And you can take little bits and put them on top of there in various locations. Just tear it up so it doesn't have a rough edge. Or so it doesn't have a straight edge, rather. Sorry. All right, continue this process throughout the rest of it. Okay, so once you have the whole thing covered, then you wanna go back over it, and if you're using two-ply, pull the second piece off and just kinda of tear it in various locations and apply it on there.
All right, let this dry overnight and then do another layer if it needs it. If it doesn't need it, then you can paint it. Okay, so once you have it covered and then you do the layers of it, let it dry completely. And then once it's dry, you can take off this extra part here where it's overlapping and then um, you can paint it. I'll show you how to do the next step in the next video. So hit the bell to be notified if you want to see how it's done and like and subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below and have a wonderful, wonderful day.